For example, here I have some code where I'm opening up a file and this works fine, but I forgot to actually close the file. This doesn't look like a problem, but now if I try to interact with that file by, for example, deleting that file, I'm going to get an error message saying I can't delete the file. Also, if I try to, for example, create too many files at once, I'm again going to get errors because now I'm trying to create too many files without actually closing out of them. So what I need to make sure I do is add in a close in here to close the file. This is why the new using keyword is so amazing. If we just look at it, you can see we're saying now that we're going to be using a file and you'll notice nowhere in our code are we actually closing that file. And if we look at how using works, if we come down to this function, you can see it's just creating us a file. And then most importantly, it's returning an object that has the file and it has this symbol.dispose function, which closes the file. And essentially the idea behind this using keyword is as soon as this object or variable goes out of scope, it'll automatically call the dispose function, which closes the file for us. And if you click on the link showing up on your screen right now, it'll go to a full video of how this using property works and explain it completely in depth.